Hi, my name's Erin, and today I'm gonna to show you how to dye and print on fabrics using flowers and leaves. So this technique works best if you use wool or silk fabrics. You can try cotton, but you can get different results sometimes, and it's a little bit hit or miss, and usually a lot lighter. So if you're trying this out for the first time, I definitely recommend using silk. I'm gonna be dyeing this 100% silk top, and lighter colors obviously work best. I'm gonna be dyeing it with irises and roses, so let's get started. So you're going to start by collecting your flowers and be careful not to remove too many from one plant. Some flowers like irises in particular work really well if you freeze them in a jar or snap bag overnight and the roses will work well like that too but you can also use them fresh. Then you want to arrange the flowers on your garment and think about how you will be folding it and where you might want different colors or patterns and arrange it accordingly. Then fold up the garment and add flowers as you go along. And so create a very tight roll, adding flowers. It's important that you press it really tight. If you want to, you can try adding a stick or something in the center to roll it around. And secure the bundle tightly with rubber bands. And as you can see, there's already some color coming through from the irises. Gently heat water, not letting it boil, and add the bundle. Another good method is steaming the bundle for about an hour. After it's soaked in hot, not boiling water for over an hour, you can then remove it, let it cool, and unbundle it, removing the plant material as you go. I then let it dry and rest for a few days before doing any final rinsing. So here's the final shirt and this is after it has been rinsed, dried and pressed. As you can see the result is quite subtle but you can see different colors. There's a little bit of pink and blue and purple tones and some sort of really pretty flower and leaf shapes. I think it's really beautiful and this kind of dyeing will probably fade over time so it's not necessarily color fast but it's really easy to do over and over again. You can build up the color, you can make it darker, you can play around with using different kinds of flowers and leaves and have really, really beautiful results. If you're interested in stuff like this, there's lots of great information and resources online. Just Google like natural dyeing, eco dyeing, eco printing, and there'll be tons of beautiful um, inspiration photos of things people have created and lots of good information on what sort of plants and flowers and other things are good to use for dyeing. So if you have tried this project yourself or you're thinking about it, I would love to hear your comments and please show me anything you've done yourself and hopefully you enjoyed this video.